Welcome to Cooking with Brad Fenson. Today we're going to make a special treat, ribeye of the sky. It's sandhill crane. A lot of people refer to them as ribeye because it tastes very similar to beef. It's uh, fine grained. We'll show you here. I had a, a friend that owns a butcher shop package them for me and he used his ribeye stamp which would make them kind of unique. But there is a crane breast right there. You can see they're, they're actually very large. They're thick. And what we're going to do is just clean these up a little bit. I like to leave all the fat on them because it uh, renders down in the pan and just adds a little bit of flavor. But we can clean them up. If you want, you could actually marinate these overnight, but they look very clean. Not a lot of shot holes. So what we're going to do is build the world's greatest marinade. And what that is, is olive oil, a little bit of soy sauce, Worcestershire, garlic, steak spice, and a acid of some type, and I prefer lemon. All right, we take a quarter cup of olive oil. I prefer olive oil, it's a little bit of flavor. You can see that we measure very carefully. A Little bit of uh, soy sauce. I don't add a lot because it's got salt and that will actually draw the moisture out of the meat. Worcestershire, if I said that correctly. Some, somebody from England will say I did it wrong, but about a half a tablespoon of that. Add some nice flavor. I think the acid is one of the most important ingredients. It helps break down that meat. And I use half a lemon in there. And then just a bit of your favorite steak spice. You know, we've got some stuff from Bearded Butcher, um, High Mountain. This one is Aubrey D, which is out of Montreal. Put in a bit of that. Mix it up real good. And then add your birds to it. Seal it up and make sure that they're fully coated. I prefer to marinate these at room temperature, otherwise your olive oil will congeal and get uh, solid on you. And the meat also cooks better at room temperature, whether you're doing steaks or, in this case, crane breasts. So we're going to let that marinate for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. And because we don't have a grill available right now, we're going to do it in a cast iron pan. You know, if you have trouble cooking your wild game to the perfect medium rare, here's a technique that works really well. We call it the 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And whether you have a barbecue or a cast iron pan, what you want to do is get it on high. Get it really hot. If you're working with a grill, 600 degrees is perfect. This cast iron here, I'm going to let it heat up till it's really hot. It's starting to smoke here on the edges, so it's getting close. We're going to put the meat in there and cook it for three minutes and time it. We're going to turn it over and cook it for another three minutes and time it. And then we're going to tent it in foil and leave it for three minutes before we slice it. And it'll turn out perfect every time. So you can see the pan is getting very hot. There's some smoke coming off it. And we're going to get our first crane breast in there just to get things rolling. One, two, three minutes. Go. There it is. There's three minutes per side. We're now going to take those breasts, put a little butter in this foil, and put those bad boys right in here to rest for three minutes as well. It's really important to rest them so that they relax a little bit. That All that heat really makes the muscle tense up, cooks it, and now we're just going to let it reabsorb some moisture and uh, get it ready for the plate. And we're going to take this, and I'll just show you when we cut it. Perfect medium rare. Tender, like crazy tender. And look at that. There it is. So that works whether you're doing a moose steak, goose, sandhill crane, elk, three, three, three. And you can tell by the feel too. You can tell that there's moisture in there. When you push on it, it's ready for some samples. <laughs> 